Hello again, and welcome to a actual and scale layout update. I'm sorry. Um, plus, what else I got from the train show? We'll do that first. Um, right now, you're looking at a Concor uh, 89 foot tri tri level auto rack. Got four of them today uh, at the train show in Crown Point, Indiana. Great show. Love it. Such good deals and people friendly. Wow. Um, that, you know, sticker says 10 bucks. I end up hitting $7.50 for each one I got. Um, we'll go through that more though. So pick this one up. Uh, Southern Pacific. I've had one of these things before. Not, I think it was like Western Pacific or something like that. But I ended up selling it. But now I got back into them. Gonna have a layout here soon. So I figured I like these. I want to run them. So here's another Southern Pacific. Same road no numbers. Uh, don't bother me yet. Not till I'm one of those uh, veteran mod modelers. So we move on to my Chicago and Northwestern auto racks. Once again, you know, seven fifty for all four of them. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. You can't get these anywhere else for that price. Yeah, you can get them on eBay sometimes, maybe cheaper, but. You gotta pay up the ass for shipping. Yeah, they can see the detail. Um, so I got these two, uh, Chicago Northwestern, but they have different trucks or not trucks, truck colors, I should say. As you can see, the one on the left is black, one on the right is gray. Doesn't bother me. But they all have repeaters in this line over here, you know. Boom. This is it. I think it's an 89 foot uh, auto parts car. So that's going to go with this auto auto rack train. Got this one actually for free for buying so much from this guy. He said, uh, go ahead, you know, throw, some, throw one of these in. Give them a try. I like the color orange. Illinois is uh, right across the border. So I figured, what the hell. Nice car. You know, metal wheels on all, all five of these. And moving on to a 60-foot Burlington Northern flat car. Pretty cool. Got that for like two bucks. It's got stakes inside the package. Maybe put those up later, I don't know. See how I roll. But yeah, two bucks. Ain't bad. Uh, and these containers, I got the three of these for five bucks. And I could use them with my intermodal train, which is pretty cool. Yeah, these two together, that on top of something like that. Um, so he had plenty more, I just didn't want to get them yet. I didn't have these. These are different colors than the ones I do have, so I think I'll stop on my head right now. And moving on. Another one. Uh, this is a, another roundhouse kit. This is a uh, modern 50 foot tanker. So I love kits, especially from roundhouse. Yeah. Not too many crazy parts going on. Just enough detail parts to make you happy. I don't have, well, a modern tanker, I should say. Don't have one of those. Got older ones, three domes, but I like this one. This is pretty cool. Probably one of my favorites right there. Moving on. Next two are uh, Railbox cars. I got these for like three bucks each there. He said, if you're in the area during the, sh the day of this show, you, you gotta go here. 
the I mean the prices there are just awesome. You know when it comes to N scale or HO, it just wow blows my freaking mind. <laughs> that didn't have enough money to get everything I wanted, so that's okay. And last is another Chessie, uh three bay hopper car. You know, been crushed in coal lately. Uh, all that I find on the local railroad. Got a shitload out there, so been crushing them, keeping them in a baggie somewhere. Can't remember where, but I'll fill, you know, all my open hip hopper cars uh, with the repeatos, with real coal, and getting coal loads for the the coal porters that I got from last video. So that, that'll be cool. So here's a quick glimpse of everything I've got. Altogether, I spent probably about $60 on all this stuff. And, is it 60 or so? If I would have paid full price, it would have been 40 45 This and this. That's 50 60 70 bucks for all this stuff. So I saved ten bucks from buying, but from this one guy, you know, all in general, and love it. So moving on, what they are on yeah, is my train table. I keep saying that I get to show you my table. It's not yet complete, but ninety-nine percent of the way. Just got to put the legs on when I move. Got my foam cut. Unfortunately, there is a gap. And that kind of sucks. But uh, it also works at my advantage because I could put little trestles in there you know, for bridges. And you know, cover that all with water and stuff. But it'll, it'll all be good. Or a canyon, whatever. So this is a, a 9 foot by 36 inch table, 34, my bad. <clears throat> the outside loop, I'm going to have right now two two main loops going, you know, with crossovers, you know, random points. I haven't decided exactly on the track plan yet, but I know I want a double loop right now until I figure out something better. Yeah, you know, I have a couple industries here and there. Maybe a intermodal yard down here, or a grain elevator, coal mine back there. Yeah, coal mine, grain, intermodal. So, that's the general idea of it right now. And, <clears throat> so I don't have a yard yet. And, since the styrofoam sheet was... I think it was like 4 by 8 that didn't really quite work out with my table you know I had to work with what I had haven't put shit anything into it really all this all, all the wood all the materials was free except for the styrofoam you know I paid I think it was like 25 bucks for the sheet and that's pretty much all I got into the into the layout so that's not bad you know, it's about 75 pounds for the table. So I'll show you the legs. There's the legs over there next to my four-wheeler. Yeah, those are, uh, it's going to sit at a height of 40 inches, which is plenty. I could reach around. No point in the layout is, you know, out of reach. And it's an ideally height, excuse me, ideal height for me right now. You know, until I get something bigger. So, the problem with staging is I don't have a yard, but with the excess foam I had, you know, flip it over real quick. Shit. Didn't 
think that one through. Yeah, this is probably four and a half feet staging right here. Yeah, see a staging yard. Maybe five feet, I don't know. But probably accommodate three, four, four, maybe five, uh, five tracks, you know, including one diesel servicing, uh, storage track, whatever. That'll probably be isolated since I'm using DC right now. Don't have a DCC system. Um, so magic sky finger will have to, uh, to get the look, the desired locomotive onto the powered track instead of the isolated track. But this is basically everything I've got right now. Um, hopefully I will have the table assembled sometime next week when I move into my new place. Um, it'll probably be right in the same room I sleep in. You know, because that's the only place that's big enough for it in our apartment. And the wife's okay with it. So... Hopefully, um, within the next two weeks to uh, a month, I'll be running some trains on a piece of pink ground. <laughs> but, you know, quick look. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, until next time. You can uh, rate, comment, subscribe, whatever. If you ask questions. Feel, f I'll feel, uh, well, feel free to ask questions. I'll respond as fast as I can. Usually within a, within a day or two, unless I'm super busy. But all right, you guys have a good day. Bye.